Alright guys, welcome to the second part of this. And uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. We're just going to open up uh, the internet here. And we're just going to go to YouTube. We're typing to Google YouTube JSON C and go to this page. This is the developer guide for YouTube's JSON C. So this describes the data that we're going to be getting. So we're going to pick a feed of videos. And we're going to do a video of a feed of course of my videos. Because why the hell not? So as you can see here, we've got all these uh, things here, all these uh, headers and post requests and all this mental stuff. There's no need to even look at that. Uh, what we need is we need a feed of videos. So we're going to be performing what's called a get operation, which is where we're going to get a feed. So videos. So we can uh, search for results, so we can put in searches. Um, Pretty good video, favorite videos, adding, deleting favorites, playlist lists, uh, things like that, comments lists. We're not going to need any of that nonsense though. All we're going to need is. Uh, where is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll get back to our code. So what we need to do is we need to get some way of making a network call. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a private class. Class, and this is going to be our uh, video list task. And we're going to extend. sorry AC task okay good so we'll just need to import and of course we have to add our type arguments I have to add our unimplemented methods whoops and add type arguments so the type arguments are going to be null. I'm trying to memorize which way it goes. It goes null. string dot 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 there's a capital N for null in this yes it is why the hell was it telling me otherwise I knew I'd write that ah there we go I need to look this up for a second. It's not null, null, null. It's void, void, void we want. God damn, I'm stupid. I can get rid of this now. So we're not going to just, we're going to be doing some fairly basic stuff. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's it. It's done. So we want to override and implement two more methods in this. So if you press Control or Shift Alt S, it will bring up this little pop up. Implement override, we want post and pre-execute and then we'll just move this underneath there for the sake of clarity so if you're wondering now the async task is going to do all the stuff in on the background thread because as in our, my networking video before when you're doing working with Android you cannot it, it actually won't let you it'll tra crash your app make a network call on the main thread and this is because if anything takes longer than five seconds Android will call up an A&R and if you're performing a network task and it's blocking up your app it's going to make your apps not responsive or laggy and it's going to make the phone laggy and cause all kinds <laughs> of problems so that's what we want to do so now that we've got this we've got our void in background so what we want to happen is 
we're going to test this first so we're going to test our async task implementation in a minute but what we're going to do is we want to bring a little pop-up that says loading videos okay in order to do this we're going to create a progress dialog and we're going to create it here progress dialog Dialog for new progress dialog. Now we need a context. Unfortunately, we can't say this because that will refer to my async task, which is not what we want to refer to. We want to refer to the uh, the activity. So we're going to create a context up here. Context, and then we'll just say underneath this. Now we can use that context in here. So now that we've created it, we're going to say dialog There we go, dot show. And we have to create the context title. So we'll just say loading videos. And we'll just we won't bother putting in a message, there's no need to. What? This has been changed since I last used it. Has been. So we can't use that method. We'll say set title and you say video. Got no idea. Loading videos. And then we'll just show it. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now what we want to have is in our background task, we want to just dismiss the dialogue that we showed. So what's going to happen is it's going to load the videos. So a little pop-up box is going to say loading and then it's going to dismiss itself once it's finished. Now the problem is once we execute this task, it's going to create the dialog. Because there's no background task, it's going to dismiss it almost instantly. So we're just going to make a quick little thing. We're just going to say thread.sleep and we'll have it sleep for a millisecond and just try and try catch. That will just pause the background thread for one second for to give this thing a chance to run. So in our on create, uh, um, tell you what we'll do, we'll make things a little bit more interesting. We'll uh, put a button in here. Do we need a button? We could have it load the videos automatically once you start up the activity first. Yep, that's what we'll do. We'll load the videos automatically. So. We'll just say we need to create our uh, task. So uh, we need to create an instance of it. So video list task, uh, task, loader task, new video list task. Okay, and then loader. We don't need any parameters because we aren't passing anything. So if you run this, we should get a little pop-up box that will appear for one second and then go away. Yep, so the pop-up box did appear. It's a little bit, uh, it took a bit of time for it to come up. But we did see it came up and it loaded. So what we'll do is we'll just change that to three, three seconds just to make things a little bit quicker.
or just give us a chance to see it. There we go. So it's just faking and loading. That's fair enough. So we'll leave it here for that for that uh, video. Now what we're going to do is in the next video we're actually going to get the YouTube data itself. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to log it to see what the hell we're even looking at maybe. And then we'll actually um, be able to view the data and we'll go to start pruning through it bit by bit.